Star Wars 7x7 episode 2738. Happy New Year to you! It's 2022 and we're going to start off the month of January by looking at what we've got to expect from the world of Star Wars storytelling this month. Punch it! <laughs> Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. And once again, Happy New Year to you. I hope you have had a peaceful and bliss-filled holiday and that you are ready to take on 2022 and all of the joy that it hopefully offers and all the challenges that it may offer as well. And I'll be here with you the whole year through. We're coming up on our half birthday here, actually. So seven and a half years for the podcast will be on January 7th. But a couple of big things will be happening before that, and we will get to those momentarily. But as we do with these What's Coming Up This Month episodes, we'll cover 12 categories where Star Wars storytelling happens, and we'll start with the movie situation. According to the Disney release calendar, the most recent version is still the October 18th one, which still has Rogue Squadron on it. So December 22nd of 2023 is still the target date for the release of Patty Jenkins's Star Wars movie. And we still have very little information about what's going on behind the scenes with pre-production. However, when we look at the timeline for The Force Awakens and we look at the corresponding month, which would be January of 2014, well, at that point they were about four months away from the start of principal photography. That started around, I believe it was May 17th in and around there. So they were still finalizing designs on a bunch of things. The Kylo Ren design still hadn't been finalized even in January 2014, but they were working on the interior of Han and Chewie's cargo ship, the Aravana. They were working on the designs for the Kanja Club and, oh, who was the other gang that was involved? Oh, the Guavian Death Gang excuse me. Um, they were working on designs for those characters. Kylo Ren's uh, Knights of Ren, those designs actually started coming together in January of 2014. They also approved Rey's speeder. They did designs for the inside of her AT-AT. They approved designs for BB-8, and they were also working on designs for, I think, finalizing designs for what the X-Wings would look like in the movie. So it was art department and creature department and costume department all running on all cylinders and you imagine with a completed script, which supposedly we have for Rogue Squadron, that the same thing would be happening right now. So yeah, that's what ought to be happening roughly based on the Force Awakens timetable on the Rogue Squadron movie front. For live action, the Book of Boba Fett debuted and we are getting episodes or chapters, if you will, two, three, four, and five in the month of January. I gotta say, you know, as far as whatever the next series is gonna be, I feel like the announcement is not going to come in the month of January. I feel like we're not going to find out until February once the Book of Boba Fett has had its run. And so, you know, that way people can stay focused on Boba Fett and then we can all get excited about whatever is coming next, which I do believe strongly is going to be the Kenobi series. So fingers crossed, it would be great to hear something about that officially in January, but I feel like we're really not going to hear about it until February. On the animation front, Bad Batch Season 2 is still in production and they're usually pretty quiet about that stuff over in the animation side of things. So I don't expect we're going to hear much about Bad Batch Season 2 in the month of January. We're probably not going to hear about that until we get into the spring at the earliest. On the short story front, we are getting the final story, or at least the final half of the final story, of Phase 1 of High Republic storytelling in January. We're getting Shadows Remain Part 2 in Star Wars Insider, written by Justina Ireland. And I've just been handed a note by the Department of Corrections. <laughs> I just said that Shadows Remain is the end of Phase 1. Not quite. It's actually the end of Wave 2 within Phase 1. So my apologies about that. And Wave 3 is kicking off this month with The Fallen Star, which is the adult novel by Claudia Gray. And yes, I've read it. I am grateful to Del Rey for sending me a review copy. I can't say anything about it just yet because reviews are embargoed, so we'll get to that for sure. Also, I believe that Mission to Disaster, which was the junior novel by uh, Justina Ireland, I think that was supposed to come out in January, and now I can't seem to find a record of it, but apparently it is now coming out on March 1st, so the only Wave 3 story we're getting in the month of January on the book front is The Fallen Star. And there are a bunch of other illustrated books, like, you know, stuff for kids and whatnot, 
coming out this month to the junior novelization of season two of The Mandalorian by Joe Schreiber is coming out this month as well. I think the only other particular book of note is the Star Wars Jedi Artifacts book by Inside Editions, which is not only a reference book, but also a merchandise book. They've got little trinkets that come along with it, Jedi Artifacts, <laughs> as it turns out. On the audiobook front, The Fallen Star is getting its own audiobook situation, and as with the previous adult novels, it's being narrated by Mark Thompson. There's also going to be a various artists narration of Five Minute Star Wars Stories, which was a kid's book that had come out previously, so now the audiobook version is finally coming out. As for comic books, well, Star Wars issue 20, Bounty Hunters issue 20, Dr. Aphra issues 17 and 18. There's not going to be a Darth Vader issue this month that apparently is going to be picking up again next month. There's a bunch happening on the High Republic comic side of things. For ongoing stuff, High Republic 13 and High Republic Adventures 12. Also, the Trail of Shadows miniseries by Daniel Jose Older is continuing with issue four. And then the Charles Soule, Martian Rowe, Eye of the Storm miniseries begins with the first issue coming out this month and there's also going to be from the High Republic Adventures the Galactic Bake Off Spectacular issue which is going to be a very fun little treat. And then the rest of the categories, there are five of them, we can pretty much run these down rather quickly. Video game front, hopefully we'll get a release date for Star Wars Hunters. We know that it's coming in 2022. I thought I had heard rumors about it being in February, but don't know for sure. It's not really something that's going to advance Star Wars storytelling, but details about the characters that are in the arena and maybe arena details as well. That might give us a little bit of interesting information. As for virtual reality stuff, well, January tends to be a little bit early as far as announcements go for things that they may be up to, but they're probably up to something. I think we're going to hear about a new VR project later this year, but I don't think we're going to hear about it in January just yet. On the streaming side of things, as far as new additions to Disney+, Plus, not necessarily expecting anything new there. I figure we'll probably see something maybe in February with like making of or behind the scenes of Book of Boba Fett kind of stuff after the series runs its course, but yeah, probably not anything remarkable coming to Disney+. Disney Plus that's not a live action series in the month of January. We might see some interesting Star Wars stuff on the Disney or Disney Plus YouTube channel, so we'll check in on those and let you know if anything cool comes up. Same with the merch thing, not necessarily expecting a lot out of the merch category, especially now that the Bring Home the Bounty thing has run its course. Maybe a couple of things that were listed as first looks we might get a little bit more information about in the month of January. Maybe if Robert Rodriguez is right and there are lots of surprises waiting for us and then maybe some things will be revealed to us as we continue on through the book of Boba Fett but yeah I guess we'll have to wait and see that sand monster thing uh, I mean they gotta produce something for that right and for the final category, the experiential situations, so the stuff that happens in person, the big thing that we've been trying to keep an eye on is Star Wars Celebration because there's been precious little announced about it. Nothing been said since the change of dates from August 22 to May of 22. Well, finally in December, there was a bit of an announcement. They put out a call for cosplay applications, for fan panel applications, for fan tables, and for crew members, and that also is a alongside exhibitors who may want to apply for space there. Deadlines for those things for fan stuff and cosplay and crew, that's January 31st of 22. So go to StarWarsCelebration.com and look for the particular thing that you want to submit for. That's the first thing that we've seen about this in many months. And it does suggest that, okay, maybe <laughs> they do still have momentum for the end of May of 22 for this. So fingers crossed, we'll see. And that is everything that we know about right now going on in the world of Star Wars storytelling this month. And that is going to do it for this episode of the show. It just remains for me to say again, Happy New Year to you. Thank you so much for joining me for the show as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. By seven is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.